Hi right, everyone, hope you're having a great day. Jaden here, so we're going to talk about Matthew 15, and a lot of people say food is the most thing we can eat food, because this chapter says that the Messiah said that we can eat food, and whatever we want, we can eat whatever was in the Torah commanded not to eat, and people say we can't, so we're going to read this chapter and see if it's even about eating food. Then came Yehoshua, scribes, and Parashim, which were of Yushalayim, saying, Why do your Talmudian transgress the tradition of the elders, for they do not wash their hands when they eat bread? So first of all, it's about they're talking about washing hands and doing traditions, which is sounds Talmudic, which a Talmud is a set of laws kind of Babylon, which have nothing to do with the Torah, but it is their own laws, which are not Yahuwah's laws, which some of them are very evil commands. In verse three, but he answered and said unto them, Why do ye else transgress the command of Yahuwah by your tradition? For Yahuwah commanded, saying, Honor your father and your mother, and he that curses father and mother, let him die the death. But ye say. Whosoever shall say to his father or his mother, it is a gift by whatsoever you might be profited by me. So he's talking about them because by your tradition, by your Talmud, by your laws, you guys, because the Pharisees were not uh, keeping the Torah, they were keeping their own kind of list laws, and it wasn't the Torah. Yehoshua came back and tried to restore the Torah because when they came back out of Babylon, they came with a whole bunch of new laws and their own things, very wicked things of other traditions. And in verse 6 says, And honor not his father or his mother, he shall be free. Thus ye have made a commandment of Yahuwah of no effect by your tradition. Ye hypocrites, well did Yeshiyahu, which is Isaiah, prophesy of you, saying, The people draws nigh unto me with their mouth, and honors me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. But in vain they do worship me, teaching of do for doctrines the commandments of men. And he called the multitude and said unto them, Hear and understand, not that which goes into the mouth defiles a man, but that which comes out of a mouth, this defiles a man. So he's talking about a few things here. You must understand this all one part. He didn't, this didn't separate and go to a different mountain. He was all around this area. And, he, and they're talking about eating hands. They said they're, they're now unclean. They're kind of saying they're unclean because they didn't eat. They didn't wash before they ate. And he's saying, you guys break your own commandments. There's your own commandments now. And those are not the Torah. And then he says, you guys say evil thanks to your parents. And it's okay. But you should be, you should be killed if you uh, dishonor your parents. That was the commandment. If those who who smite their parents or like do evil things to their parents, they deserve to be killed. And so he says, it's not, it's what you, when you say something evil to your parents, that's what defiles you. When you say something evil, that defiles you. Something evil that comes out of your mouth. It has nothing to do with food. Now if I had to do with food, he'd say, all food has been made clean. You can eat whatever you want. This command is old. But he says, it's not, but he's talking about washing hands and them speaking evil. That out of their mouth, they speak evil. Out of their lips, they do not honor him. So this is what he's talking about. He's talking about Washing your hands. So this has nothing to do with food. So if you want to say it has to do with food, you're going to have to try to find a different chapter talking about food because this obviously isn't the one. All right, everyone, I hope you have a blessed day. And uh, yeah, Yahoo bless.